Uh, Randaji, before yes. we start today's class, I have a question about different versions on Ashtanga Vidaya. I was listening to some audio and I saw that there is slight difference in please one or two slokas in chapter one and so on. You please tell me. Um, for example, in Anupakram Aivatsiyat, there yeah, was there some... There is one bracketed sloka. There is some little difference here and there. How usually people deal with this kind of one word that is different here and there? People just say, oh, it's quite similar and doesn't matter so much the word? No. Because uh, the I meaning is still... I will tell you the reason behind it. Actually, the manuscript is a big science. Manuscriptology is a big science, okay? Actually, all the textbooks in ancient time, the author will be dictating and the scriber will be writing. That culture is right from Mahabharata, Purana, and etc. You know that. Lord Ganesha was the scriber for Vyasa. That is our fate, even though. Okay? But there will be a scriber and there will be an author. So author dictate and scriber writes. Suppose I am dictating, you are writing. Any place, if my pronunciation is not perfectly followed by you, then what will you do? You use your logic and one word over there. And make the thing satisfied okay this problem was there always when the scribe write from one to another write so many scribes will be there so so many manuscripts were there available before the book was taken into printing or editing so what the people have got thousands of manuscripts were there but many manuscripts were really wrong. That word cannot be accepted for the science also. This is all they removed from there. And you know, the scriber, he was a scholar. Always the scriber sometimes will be a scholar. Sometimes will be illiterate. He knows only words. Another one more beauty I'll tell you in manuscriptology, especially in Indian languages. See, the writer do not know how to write, but he knows the ideas in his mind. So he will depend a scriber who knows the script well and writing well in the Pam leaves and etc. Got it? He does not know how to write on the Pam leaves, so he takes a scriber who is expert in writing in Pam leaves. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, I started learning the uh, Ashtanga Hridaya from my teacher. I learned it, memorized it. Then what I have done, I created my own words, like Tiago translate the words, okay? Like that, I felt that this is logical over there. Then I added that one in the scribe while writing the dictator author does not know that i am adding it because he does not know that at all he is not going to the proofreading also he has got complete faith in the scriber so the scriber what he will do he will feel that oh some sloka is missing i will add one sloka over there because it is not clear so what happened this slogas he will write so out of thousands manuscripts when we take for edition out of that thousand, we will get only 100 or 150, somewhat we will acceptable. In that 150, some will be having some slokas added one, and we will think the logic. If I add this sloka, 80 manuscripts will not have that sloka, but 20 to 40 manuscripts will be having that sloka. Then the editor will think, okay, I will do one thing. I will put this one in the bracketed and put this sloka in the main textbook because it is very much useful to connect mm -hmm. the signs in a proper way. So like this, manuscripts have been studied and they put the bracketed sloka in many places. So actually, so these are, we don't have maybe the actual... Listen to me. Okay. Uh, see, I will tell you frankly, you will not get the Moola manuscript. This is again in okay. manuscriptology. After verifying these 120 manuscripts, they will take one basic one Based on that, they will do the addition of remaining uh, 119 manuscripts. Mm -hmm. So that is okay. the way the manuscript edition. Manuscript edition is a big, 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 big science. Lot of work has to be done in manuscript edition. So that is why this, but if it is logically very much acceptable, some editors, what they have done, they added the sloka. And they put that, this is not found in many, but in few are there, it is useful. So they will put the bracket and add that sloka. And sometimes the alphabet will be 
three different alphabets like that kleda vidrudi kesha vidrudi so what they will do kleda vidrudi okay logically it is very good it is perfect more suitable because the duty of swedana is kleda vidrudi he added in the main text book but there is another kesha vidrudi logically it is also right so what he has done he put a number over it and below in the footnote he will write this can be read as kesha vidrudi also so this is all the works of editor who is doing the editing that is why so, additional slokas comes so you can never say that which manuscript is the first manuscripts written so basically what i'm listening yeah. your explanation is that actually it was not vagbata that wrote the ashtanga hrida he recited <laughs> and then someone wrote probably 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 just Because like ganesha wrote the mahabharata yeah. It was not yes, him yes, itself. Yes, he was yes. teaching the Ashtanga Hridaya, and people were like scribing it. Right, just like Charaka Samhita. Charaka Samhita is not written by Atreya. Atreya yes. taught. Agnivesha wrote. Charaka edited. Bridavala again edited. This okay. is what is the Charaka Samhita that which we are getting. And who is the author of Charaka Samhita? Every anybody ask, everybody will answer. It is Charaka. Charaka is only an editor of Charaka Samhita. the writer okay. of charaka samhita is agnivesha who is the real uh, person who gave the topic for agnivesha samhita it is given by atreya so if anybody ask you who is the real author of charaka samhita if you they ask me i will tell that it is of atreya because atreya is the person gave all the subject matter for agnivesha he is only the scriber and later the book was edited by charaka and little more edited by dridavala like this is the formation of charaka samhita all indian ancient textbooks are like that clear tiago i i'm not so sure if i say fantastic or terrible but something between <laughs> again i'll tell you is, again i again important. i'll tell you again i'll tell you one thing that's why i told you manuscriptology is such a typical one if you read one chapter at the end of the manuscript there will be one sentence okay keeping that in mind whether a scriber has written it or the author himself has written there are some pointing words in that one if the author has written we can beautifully understand that it is being written by the author if the scriber has written certainly we can understand it is written by a scriber such verification methodologies are there in manuscripts okay and in that one he will give some token words to know the year of the book the period of the book the uh, under which king the book was written and etc will be there in as coining words at the end when he is going just like it is shrimad bhagavad gita ya shri krishna arjuna sambade like that at the end he will write some beautiful terminology in that you can understand that it is uh, explained and written or he himself has written it and under which king it has been written and etc there from you can go for the search for the history of the manuscript Yeah. So manuscriptology is a big science you need a lot of time to study manuscriptology even after studying the manuscriptology if you go to edit you have to compromise with a lot because you know some scribes will commit such a mistakes they will add their mother tongue in between mm -hmm. and in that place you will be in big trouble how to add the word because he will write the scribe ra has to written he will not write ra samskrita he will write here ra that means here uh, regional language la because of his expert in writing his regional language instead of devanagari script this ra will come then we have to sit and think how this word can be filled okay more suitable word is ra so we will edit it as ra like this lot of works are there in manuscript okay because you that. know that this manuscript was from a tamil region and not from kerala region and so on so you See, have to understand again, again again i will tell you you can never say that vagbada is a person from kerala or vagbada is a person from tamil nadu or vagbada is a person from all assumptions on everything is assumption because the methodology of teaching the dravyas he explain more the dravya he is used more where this dravyas are available and the science that means influence of other community in the teach uh, the treatment uh, methodology all these things they 
cross verify and they will approximately tell that Vagbada may be a person who belongs to Kerala nearby Kollam district. That's all. Because Baudha philosophy is too much influenced in that one. And you know, the Chara, Vagbada Samhita is established more, utilized more in Kerala. So certainly either in the beginning Vagbada may be from the North India or any other place. He would have traveled and settled in South India. And his book was perfectly established in Kerala. That is why Kerala people like Ashtanga Hridaya than any other textbook. So in that one, they found that lot of Baudhik treatment methodologies, modalities are being utilized. So in Kerala, maximum Baudhists were lived in Kollam district, nearby Kollam Kottayam district. So they felt that, oh, Vagbada belongs to that place because whatever be the regional uh, herbs he explained, they are mostly available in this area. So they, considering all that, they told that Vagbada belongs to Kerala. Who knows Vagbada basically took birth in Kerala? God knows. Wonderful. <laughs> that is what is the history of all this. Because I, again, I'm telling you, that is the, uh, I will say that is advantage as well as disadvantage of Sanskrit or Indian script or Indian literature because they never write their whereabouts in their books. They will write only the purpose which has to be taught for others. So there is no question of ego. There's no question of rejection. There's no question of anything. They write what is needed for the people. Okay. Later, it was needed because thousand Ashtanga Hridayas were there. If you do not standardize the textbook, how can you say the Ashtanga Hridaya? Thousand reading Ashtanga Hridaya, if it is printed, it will be a problem. So what they have done? They standardized by printing into a standard copy. That is why the edition has happened. You know, the people say that nearly one lakh uh, manuscripts were there for Mahabharata. You just imagine the person who is edited Mahabharata would have worked such a big work coming to a common uh, methodology of editing is a very difficult task. So I and hope you understood. This process of these editing the, Ashtanga Hridaya is from the seventh, 19th century or 20th century? This uh, is after I think maybe somewhere else in somewhere else, no, no, somewhere else in 18th or 19th century. Okay. The standardization of the book took place. Very good. Sure, no doubt. Okay, sorry everyone for the question. Standardization of the textbook. <laughs> the age of Vagbada will be very old. Okay, anyhow. Now we are entering into uh, manuscriptology is a big science. You have to learn a lot in that. Way. And you know, in Anubhakrama Evasya, that sloga is very much useful over there. Actually, it is not there. The people say that many of the manuscripts do not have that sloka. But if that sloka is there, it is, will be very connective because there are two types of diseases. Again, there are two types. Again, there are two types. If that sloka is there, it will connect in a beautiful manner from the previous topic to the another topic. That's why it is being edited and added in the textbook. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Clear. Now we are coming to today's. And, and so interesting. Thank you. Uh, edition. Manuscriptology, actually, it is very good science. Very good science. I Very have important. done its uh, diploma and now I am planning the postgraduate diploma in that one. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, anyhow. 